and Devices Private Limited. Bronze Sponsors, IDTI Bank Private Limited, Delta Lens Private Limited, Supporters, Alanka Traders, and Asian Surgical Company, and Asian Engineering Company. I would now like to call upon Dr. Swati Kadi, the head of the Operation Eyesight Universal Institute for Eye Cancer, to represent the efforts of the the philosophy of our institute, equality, equity, and patient first, and the more. Dr. Swati, it will be a pleasure to hear and learn more from you. Thank you, thank you, Kamya. A very warm welcome to everyone who is present here, to who, who have come here all the way to support this initiative. It means a lot that you have all made your time and come on a Sunday afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, VVS Lakshman Garu. It's always a pleasure. I know it's like you're very busy with your own commitments, but you always are very, very approachable. Thank you for all the support that you have been giving. And for all those who are not aware, VVS Lakshman Garu has been part of this event since its inception in 2018. He has been there all Thank you very much for that. So now I think, do you remember this picture? <laughs> so this is from 2019 White Thorn t-shirt release. This was a young child, six month old at that time, who was diagnosed with cancer, eye cancer. And in fact, both her parents are doctors serving in the army. And they noted that there was a squint in the eye and they got her for examination and she was diagnosed to have uh, eye cancer in both eyes. So now it's been, uh, this was 2019, so it's almost been three and a half years now. And let's see where she is now. Can we have the video please? Hey. This is little Meher, you can see she's happy, leading a normal life. She goes to a normal school. They do not require a special school, a very normal school. And you can see she's so happy. She's dancing and her mom keeps sending me every picture, every video of her small milestones, be it like the first time she goes to school, or she's doing these small activities, her first painting. And in fact, like she had sent me her uh, report card from her KG. She's in KG1, so she has it, just sent the report card. And she's doing extremely well. I think this is a message for everyone. What difference it can make when we diagnose cancer on time. Treat them on time. They can have a normal life, like what they deserve, like you and I. So it's very, very important that we diagnose this cancer very early. So this is one such story. Of course, I would like to also share one other child who is there. So she comes from, she's sitting right there, that little girl in a green frock. She, can she just stand? Can you help her just stand? So her name is Harshini Bai. The pet, that's fine, that's fine, it's okay, it's okay. So she also was diagnosed with eye cancer when she, uh, last year, and it, so that's that's the mother and the child. She's also one of the retinoblastoma survivors. So they come, the parents come from a very small village near Guntur. And in fact, the referral system that LV Prasad Eye Institute has, has helped her reach the place of treatment that is here and of course the other tertiary center. So a vision technician who was there in a small village where we have vision centers, I think as Dr. Rao just uh, kind of uh, brought up that we have so many centers that we are having. So LV Prasad Eye Institute is not just at Hyderabad. It's all across four different states a little a minority of it which is present in Karnataka, otherwise it's mainly in Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. So she was diagnosed to have, one of the vision technician saw that there was a white reflex in the child and thought that this would be something dangerous and she was referred to the next system of care and finally she reached here where she got the treatment for eye cancer and today, again as you can see, she looks like any other normal child. She is a normal child. She is a cancer survivor. So that's the impact that each one of us 
can have on a child if we help them reach the place of treatment. But unfortunately, of course we have many such hundreds of stories in the system, but unfortunately it may not be the case with every child. Our aim is that every child who's diagnosed with this eye cancer has such a happy success story. But we do have children who lose their lives for this cancer, mainly because there is lack of awareness. Parents are not aware when they see that there is a white reflex, there is strabismus or the squint, they don't know that it could be eye cancer. So it's our duty, every single of us sitting in this room, it's our duty to pass on the message. Pass it on in your groups. It will just multiply, the effect will just multiply. We have to pass on the message that this can be a sign of eye cancer so that they are brought in for examination and they are caught in on time. So it could be because of lack of awareness, sometimes it could be lack of accessibility as well. They do not know where to go for treatment and sometimes lack of affordability because the cancer treatment, like any other eye cancer treatment, like any other cancer, it can be very expensive. And that's where we have to do everything to support these children. Of course, at LV Prasad Eye Institute, no child is turned away because of lack of funds. We treat them completely free of cost, irrespective of how expensive the treatment is. In fact, for eye cancer, I think the percentage is more. More than 50% of them, we treat them free of cost. That's mainly because it's a recurring cost. It's not a single time uh, costing. It's a recurring cost that occurs. Every three weeks they come back for chemotherapy. So it's a lot of cost that involves. So that we're talking of today, so what is this retinoblastoma? So it's the most common eye cancer that occurs in children. And as you can see, they're very, very young children. As young as less than three years of age. Most of them are, in fact, 95% of them are less than five years of age. As Dr. Rao mentioned, they have a long life ahead. So it's like even if we are able to save their life, it's like they will have many, many happy years ahead. And what does white do? You know, white we initiated it in 2018. The two main objectives, of course, the most important objective is to raise awareness about retinoblastoma. And the reason that we called it as white thought is every single one who comes across that logo or this initiative should understand that a white reflex in a child's eye could be eye cancer. And that's the reason we named it as white thought. That's the significance of this name. And the second important objective of this is to also raise funds so that we can treat every single child who comes from an underprivileged family completely free of cost. Irrespective of, if it, even if it is the most expensive treatment, still we should be able to treat them free of cost. And those are the two important objectives of this initiative. Now here, I think again, let's again take a pledge that no child will die of eye cancer due to lack of awareness or lack of funds for its treatment. Thank you. So when you see the eye is white, it's the time to fight. <laughs> thank you, Swati, thank you. And we are all behind you in this fight against cancer and the movement called Vitathan. I would request you to please come back on the stage for the ceremony of unveiling the T-shirt. Along with Dr. Swati, we also request our dignitaries to kindly join us on stage for unveiling the much-awaited T-shirt. First, the legend, Mr. B.B.S. Lakshman. Shri Ramesh Prasad, founding trustee, L.B. Prasad Rai Institute, and son of Shri L.B. Prasad. Dr. G.N. Rao, our founder chair. Mrs. Pratika Rao, board member. Dr. Rajiv Reddy, vice chair. Dr. Mark Fernandez, director of the Kalamanji Reddy campus. And lastly, Dr. Swati Kalikin. 
And amongst us, it is a privilege to have children who have thrived despite being challenged by retinoblastoma. Each of these children. Each of these children is a reason for us to keep going. And it's a matter of great pride to request this gang of children to unveil the medal that is going to adorn the white and the medal. Fighters, come on stage. And here is the medal that our children, our fighters, our pride will unveil.